All right, picture this. It's 1981. Uh, everyone's listening to Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album or, or we're banging our heads to ACDC's Back In Black. I mean, kids around the world are hanging out at arcades because they've got a couple of quarters that they want to drop in the latest Pac-Man edition. What else is going on back there? People are wearing parachute pants and fluoro colours and stuff in the 80s. It was a bit of a wild time. Um, what made it even better was that I got born. 1981, year of my birth, year of the birth of Castle Wolfenstein. The very, very beginning of this Wolfenstein series happened in the same year that I was born. So that's 42 years ago. Holy crap. And you might be looking at me thinking, he looks more like he's 60. Well, this is what teaching does, all right? Teaching in the 21st century, particularly post-COVID, looks like this. All right, but we are going to delve into what made Wolfenstein 3D so much more engaging than Castle Castle Wolfenstein, and that is having a world that is full of texture and, and, and visually appealing scenarios, right? So that's what we're getting into today. We are going to add textures to our world, and hopefully, if you've still been expanding your world out during the, uh, the off times here, you will have a lot of work to do, but it is all for the betterment because your game will look amazing once you apply all these textures. So what are we doing in, in this lesson? Well, we're adding the textures to our world. So we're gonna walk through the process. We're gonna import some assets into our game, and then I'm gonna show you how we put those textures onto the walls and floors and things that we've been making. So let's look at our WWSS now so you know exactly what we're doing, and then we'll get into the demo. Alrighty, so jump on into your project and we're going to get started. Let's let's begin with a quick tour of the game and where we left it off in our last lesson. So we'll run it. There we are in our very boring world. No textures. Uh, we can move around. We can turn left and right and have a look, but there is nothing else to do. So that is what we're going to sort out today. We're going to make this a far more engaging game to play. So first things first, let's grab uh, one of our walls. So let's grab, um, I'm going to grab our second mesh instance there, which is one of the walls. Um, and then I'm going to come over to our inspector window. Now there's a lot of stuff going on in our inspector window when we grab these meshes but what I want you to look for is where it says geometry I'm going to click on geometry and then I've got this very first menu item that says material override that's what we're going to be doing so where we've got an empty there we're going to be using that so click on that click on new standard material 3d and that then gives you this window so make sure you've got the um the sphere clicked on so then you get this menu here right so if i click on it it disappears i want this menu here so i'm going to have that on there now we need to grab the texture we're going to use so if you look down here where it says albedo we've got this option here texture and it's empty so we need to put a file there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab i've got a few different files so these will be available either on itch or in the the zips on github um, if you are doing this on OneNote, of course, the textures and things like that are right there in your browser, so that's too easy. So I'm going to find, what do we want for this particular one here? Maybe a grey stone wall, that makes sense. I'm going to drag that in, drop it there into my file explorer, so that's now above my head uh, somewhere there. So that's our texture. So we just need to drag that over here into our texture box. So I'm going to click on it and just drag it across. Here we go, drop it in there, it says texture, and then we've got a very dodgy looking texture. So if you play it now and have a look at it, where are we? There, that doesn't look too good. So we need to fix that up. So I'm gonna close that. Now, how do we fix it up? So let's keep scrolling down here when we've got that Al um, albedo and all that. We're gonna keep going down until we get to this one that says UV1. And we're gonna expand that out. Now this can take a little bit of fiddling about to get this right, but we'll see how we go. Um, Oh, I think that's way too many. It's probably actually only needs to be like 10 and 10 or something like that. Um, so what we're trying to do here is get it so that the tiling of the texture that we're using looks good on the wall. And it can be a little bit fiddly to work that out. Um, maybe even more. Ooh, no. 20 by five. That looks pretty good. Let's test that. I'm gonna go in and have a look at that. Let's go up close to our new wall. Mm. No, I think maybe we can do a bit more on the horizontal. So we'll close that. We've got 20 and 5. Let's go to 20 and 10. And now let's have a look. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. 
these things you can tinker with until you get it the way you want it. So that's how you do it, right? We just go in, we set our scale like that, and then it tiles it across. So what you need to do now is make sure you get that done for the other walls and also for your floor. So grab the assets you need and get that done. Now, if you have been making your world bigger like I have asked you to, you'll have a fair bit of work to do here. So let's move on, have a look at our must may might so you don't forget anything. And then it is your job to go through all of the amazing walls and floors that you have been making and give them some textures. So let's look at our must may might. What you must do in this lesson, well, you need to get those textures from OneNote or GitHub or itch.io, and you need to get them into your project and then add them to your walls and floor. What you may like to do in this lesson is keep expanding your world, grow it. Um, and what you might like to do, well, our next lesson, we're gonna start working on weapons. So you might wanna have a think about how we do that. So if you've successfully followed along, well, you should now have a nice looking castle to explore with your player character. As I mentioned in our must may might, the next thing we are doing is adding weapons to our game. So that's gonna be a bit more convoluted, take a little bit more time than these first three lessons have, but uh, hopefully we've got a good enough foundation to build on that you will make short work of that a slightly more difficult task. And the quote I'd like to leave you with is from my favorite Frenchman, and maybe it's because he was a French Algerian that I like him so much, but uh, Albert Camus, uh, turn of the, well, 20th century, absurdist philosopher and, and uh, Nobel winning author, he once said, to be happy, we must not be too concerned with others. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.